so I really didn't feel like talking about what's been going on which kind of defeats the whole purpose of this thing but you'll understand if I wasn't really up to talking to human beings let alone a camera um, last Wednesday I got a call from my doctor to go in and get a lumbar puncture I didn't really understand why Thursday I went in and got a, the spinal tap Friday I get a call from my neurologist saying that they wanted me to come in Tuesday of the following week which is today and then a few hours later I got a call from my neurosurgeons um, nurse saying that they were told by the neurologist to postpone my surgery and I maybe I guess I'll make another video that'll precede everything that'll let you know what all I've done to prepare myself and how much anxiety and anguish and everything I've gone through to just prepare and get myself mentally emotionally financially ready get my child ready and everything basically I've done a lot and it's been it's been just taking a toll on me just I'm not I'm a very cynical person but I'm a happy-go-lucky cynical person and so for this whole situation to have brought me down the surgery is right weighed really heavily on me so meanwhile hearing that it got postponed pissed me all the way off so I kind of retreated into my little corner didn't want to talk to anybody the whole weekend um, took myself to the movies had a couple of drinks was definitely drunk in the movie theater um, I just kind of needed some time and space to myself without everybody saying oh it'll be okay it'll be okay because even though you know that sometimes you need space and time to process your feelings and that's exactly what I needed without everyone telling me it's gonna be okay because I mean it's been I've been sick for almost 12 years and I'm still here by the grace of God so I know I'm gonna be okay but um, anyway some person calls I, I was hitting my neurologist's office up like on the internet the little app they had I was sending messages I was calling I was like hey tell somebody to call me back we need to have a talk and yeah with that whole New York voice everything call me back it was it was getting pretty hectic and so yesterday finally on Monday someone calls and she's a nurse in the neurologist's office but she's not the nurse practitioner and she's not the neurologist and I was asking her why I got the spinal tap, why they postponed my surgery, and this happened to have no answers. She did not have a clue. She didn't have the answer. She couldn't provide me with an iota of information about what the hell was going on with my situation. So she just served to piss me off further. And I was like, am I going to have to go John Q on a bitch when I go to the hospital tomorrow? But, you know, I calmed down. About 7 or so p.m., the nurse practitioner called me. And... If you don't know nurse practitioners, they study a little bit more, go to school a little bit more. They, um, they do a little bit more closer working with the doctor than, um, than nurses do. But, yeah, so she calls and she's telling me that the lumbar puncture was to basically double cross their T's and dot their I's to make sure that I didn't have any autoimmune processes going on because if so that there there's something that they could do before the um, stereo EEG that I'll be having on October 17th the sur the first of the first surgery there's um, something they could try before that first surgery to try to quell things and I kind of looked at her crazy because we've tried pretty much everything. We've thrown the book at my autoimmune disease and this epilepsy for six years. But, you know, everybody thinks that their thing is the answer. But I kind of let it go. I said, okay. She said, like, you know, we have to send it off to Mayo Clinic. And they have to test it against your old lab results. Because I did go to the Mayo Clinic previously. They've been wonderful to me. But we have to wait for Mayo Clinic's lab to send back the results. And I'm like, okay, girl. That's a lot but okay and she was like but the thing is we didn't cancel or postpone your surgery you're still on the OR books as your surgery being October 17th we're not going to cancel it we're hopefully we'll have the test results back by then you'll be good to go 
you know, if you have questions for the doctor, write them down. Ask her tomorrow when you come in. It's going to be okay. Don't worry. We're working overtime. We've got you. And I was like, well, okay, bitch. Y'all got me. And then she told me to chill out. And it was kind of cute the way she said it because she has an accent. She was like, oh, just chill out. But I didn't want to hear that shit. So I kind of sighed out the phone. Excuse my cursing. I know my baby's going to watch this. I'm sorry, baby girl. Sorry. Sorry. I kind of sighed out the phone because I just, I, and I told her, she asked me if I felt relieved. And I told her I couldn't be relieved until I knew the plan because I need to, you know, schedule who's going to pick up my daughter to and from band practice and drill team practice. I'm, I mean, I'm a mother. I have a life. This is, this is my world. And I can't rely on uncertainty that they're providing me. And so she, she definitely understood. So I'm going in now. I'm headed on my way to my neurologist. I've got my list of questions typed up in my memo pad on my phone. Me and, gonna have, me and her are going to have a good old sit down talk. And I really don't plan on leaving without confirming my surgery date. I may, I know that I may have to leave without my surgery date confirmed, but y'all gonna know if I got the surgery date confirmed. It's gonna be all over the, the Instagrams, the Snapchats, the Facebooks. I know it's nobody's business, but this is cathartic for me. This is how I am getting through this process as well as letting other people know who are having to go through this what to expect because I'm Googling this and this procedure is barely new. It's only two or three years old and I'm not seeing anything. I'm seeing a few, maybe two or three YouTubers who talked about the process. Very little on the internet outside of um, medical marketing materials. So I'm not knowing what to expect. So um, you'll hear from me and I'll let you know what's going on. And my hair looks kind of cute. I'm kind of feeling it today. <sighs> well, Surgery is more than likely going to be postponed, but they have a good reason. They had a conference and they were planning out my brain mapping and everything else. And one of the one or two of the neurologists in the planning committee were um, were, hope, were all of my lumbar punctures have come back negative for antibodies. But Mayo Clinic has come back with has discovered new antibodies over the past few years and they wanted to test me again just in case my um my lumbar puncture come back comes back positive for um one of those antibodies so if so they could move me over to the autoimmune people and not unnecessarily cut into my head before all of the uh, before all of the autoimmune stuff is fixed so, you know, it's a good reason, but and my doctor was very apologetic. And she's, you know, she thanked me for letting her know, or for reminding her that even though they have so much going on all the time, patients have their whole lives <laughs> planned out and beyond whatever tests the doctors are going to do, the patients still have their lives to lead. And, um, I appreciate her for being considerate and taking the time to talk to me because my appointment really was, I would just pay $45 for her to just talk to me and explain this shit. She could have did that over the phone, but I'm not going to deal with that right now. But she was very kind in explaining everything to me, but um, it's more than likely looking like it's going to get postponed. She's going to meet with my neurosurgeon tomorrow to set a new date and just put like a date, like hopefully in the next beginning of November on the calendar or something like that so I'll have something locked in it's not five months out but I won't know anything until I know anything and so I'm just kind of sitting here stuck waiting which I'm not gonna be a sourpuss like I have been the past few days about it but I'm not happy about it but I definitely am glad that they did the right thing rather than me you know not getting the testing done is something going wrong so you know silver lining other side of the coin blah 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 but this this health stuff man it's it's crazy and if you don't have to go through it good for you if you do you know what I'm going through maybe maybe not but um you know I don't know I'm gonna go get me something to eat. 
this Wendy's four for four is calling my name because I'm starving. But I don't know. Everyone, be good, be well.